wake up thinking about brewing and I go to bed thinking about brewing. So it's uh, basically 24 hours, seven days a week. I don't know if we quite have a mission, but I think that uh, you know we have a motto and that's kind of just a brew beer, drink beer and have fun doing it. I think we definitely are one of the drivers of the craft beer industry here in the Northwest. I think we've proven that with uh, kind of the brand our production brands, uh, our sour program, barrel aging, uh, kind of the unique creative styles of beers that we're coming out with, uh, and uh, you know, and that all of that goes back to our brew staff and kind of the creative freedom that they have and the ability they have just uh, every day just to kind of come to work and brew whatever they want. And they have no limitations, and that's kind of what we uh, designed when we first started started the brewery. And that was just to create it like kind of a, uh, Jimmy likes to say, like a brewer's playground. But really it's just kind of an environment for them to come in and uh, have fun. And I think it's been very valuable for us as a company. The favorite part about brewing is the reaction of the customer. Uh, I think that's kind of the best thing for us. Is once again, we make a product that people celebrate with. You talk to all these breweries and they're like, hey, I got, I want to be 100,000 barrels, or I want to be 200,000 barrels. Like, I don't think you can talk to, I don't think you can ask one person in our company, like if we have barrelage requirements or we really want to hit a certain mark. Like the only, the, the main goal for our company is to, uh, is to stay focused on what we love to do. And that's just brew beer, drink beer and have fun. All right, now we got three batches of Apocalypse IPA brewing. Uh, first one's running off to the fermenter, second one's running off to the kettle, collecting right in here. It smells delicious. And the uh, third one's mashing in over yonder. We've got the grain water mixing in nicely. And then here's the second brew running off. Right now we're just adding more water on top, which is sparging. It goes down through the grain bed collects over in the kettle where we boil and add hops. The Tembrel Brewing is really a hop board brewery, so that's kind of where we make our niche. Uh, so you know the Apocalypse IPA is about 60% of our sales, the OG IPA is about another 12% of our sales, and then most of our seasonals have a hop forward note. Uh, that's kind of like what our everyday driver is, it's kind of like a Honda Accord. But with that said, we also have those nice hot rods that we only bring out on the weekends end up being our sour program, our barrel age program. Beers that are still showing that we, yeah, we can make hoppy beers, but then we also have a depth of skills that we can use to create other beers we, we think are world class. Brewing's definitely my passion. I remember in college, convincing my buddy, like, hey, like I found this thing, it's like 50 bucks, and like you can make, it's got everything you need to make your own beer. And we were just like, yeah, okay, so. My buddy and I split this kit and uh, did like a, I think just a pale ale or something like that, you know, and your month later or whatever, after you, you did this, we have these 50 bottles of beer and start opening them up and you're like, it's not bad. It's all science. So basically what you're doing is you're manipulating enzymes, chemicals, uh, water. And the idea being is basically you're taking a single cell organism, a fungus literally, and making it go to work for you. I think the constant criticism that we give to ourselves is pretty healthy because it keeps us trying to be on top all the time.